series, Cutting Edge Art. In this segment, we will be looking at Leisha Priest, taking on the decorative art form Vera Eglomis, which dates back to the Roman era. I'm a fine artist. I currently work with uh, glass. Um, I've, for the majority of my artistic career, I've worked abstractly. I did design clothing and I also modeled. And um, I did one of a kind wedding gowns, hand beaded garments, and as well as um, hand painted garments. And, and I think that when you look at the glass work, you can see my influence as far as from fabrics coming through and the hand painted work that I did and the beading in the use of different materials on the glass. So though I've come like to a totally different medium, there's still this one vein as far as that follows through all my work that connects it. I try to find the biggest pieces of glass that I possibly can. I am currently working with a figure, and, and I'm working with the muscles of the figure. And so what I do is I, I have a model, um, and then I draw the model on the back of the glass, and the process is called ver eglomis. So what I have to do is turn it over, work on the back, and then keep looking at the front to see how it looks, because you can't tell. When you do ver eglomis, as opposed to when you're working in a traditional painting medium or method, whereas maybe if you're creating a form and you work dark to light, when you're working with ver eglomis, you have to work, in your mind, you have to work backwards. You have to change it around. You have to think, okay, what is the lightest color gonna be? I need to paint that first and then go backwards and, and look as you're doing it. Because what you see on the back is not what you're going to see on the front. Um, I also work with um, gold leaves. Um, so I use gold leaf, metal leaf, um, variegated leaf, as well as holographic film because I like um, how those things change when the light hits them. And my work has to do with the personalities of individuals and how they change and who they are on the inside. So that holographic film kind of represents the, the change in one's feelings or their moods. And so that's why I use the materials that I use.